seventh grade, lesson six, and this is on factors and divisibility. Okay, let's start with factors. Okay, do you remember what factors are, Isaac? It has something to do with multiplication. Yeah, it's like the numbers of four or three, like three times one, three times two, three times three. Three times two equals six. These are factors, okay? The answer is the product. Remember that, learn mm -hmm. that? So these are the factors that equal six, okay? If I were to ask you, what are the factors of 12? What I'm asking you is, what times what equals 12? Can you think of one? Yeah, six times six. Okay, no, not six times six. Oh, not six, six times two. Six times two, okay, can you think of anything else that um, equals 12? Four times three. Four times three, anything else? Um, one times 12. One times 12. Any others? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. So he thought of several different factors that equal 12. Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do is once I figure out all these different factors that equal 12, then you're just going to write them in order from one to the end. Mm -hmm. So one is a factor of 12. Two is a factor of 12. Three is a factor of 12. Four is a factor of 12. 6 is a factor of 12, and 12 is a factor. Now, remember, these are all my factors. So once I finish, I'm done. So I say the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Okay? That's how I would actually write the factors of a number. Okay? When I think I would ask you that. Now, the factors of a number are whole numbers that divide into the number without a remainder. So, for example... We saw, we were looking at 12, okay? If I were to take that 4, how many 4s would equal 12? 3 of them. So 4 plus 4 plus 4, 3 of them, 1, 2, 3, would equal 12. So it goes in evenly. evenly. There's not an extra remainder, right? There's not extra, okay? Now, let's talk about... Um, this one's a little bit harder. If I told you to list the factors of 51, a little bit harder because we don't actually think of numbers. 51 times 1. 51 times 1, that is always a factor. Good job. Something times 1 is always a factor. Okay. Whoops. Okay. There's actually another factor that involves 3. I knew it. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to see this. 3 will go into 51. How many times to help us find our other factor? 3 times 1 is 3. And I end up getting 20 and bring that one down, 21. 3 will go into 21 7 times. 7 times 3 is 21. Therefore, it went in evenly without any remainders. Okay, so my next factor. 17 and 3. 17 and 3. Sometimes you just have to try numbers. To see if you get close, okay, and they're actually on this number is not anymore. So I would say the factors of 51 are 1, 3, uh, 17, and 51. Okay, I just put them in order. 1, 3, 17, and 51. Those are the factors of 51. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is this G C. Do you remember me talking about this last year? Yes, but I don't remember what it stands is. stands for greatest common factor. Okay, remember what a factor is? Mm -hmm. We're going to find the greatest common one. So what I would do here, if I told you to find the GCF or the greatest common factor of 18 and 30, I want you to find the greatest common factors of 18 and 30. Okay? So what you would do is find all the factors that you can think of for 18 first. So I'm going to start with 18. Isaac, throw me, throw me some out. Um, that would be 9 times 2. 9 times 2 equals 18. What else? Um, there would be uh, 3 mm -hmm. times 6. 6. Good job. Equals 18. 18 times 1. 18 times 1 equals 18. Okay? And I believe that is it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, now let's do 30. Tell me some factors for 30. 15 times 2. 15 times 2. 30 times, times 1. 30 times 1. 
um, 10 times 3. 10 times 3, excellent. One more. Oh, 5 times 6. 5 times 6, excellent. Okay, so he thought of a several. Good job. So what I would do is take the numbers here, and I'm going to put them in order. I would have 1, 2, 3, and 6, 9, and 18 for that one, for our 18. And then for 30, I would have 1, 2, 3, 5, Six. I'm just putting them in order at this point. 10, 15, and 30. Okay? And that's all of them. All right? So I put all the factors here for 18 and all the factors here for 30. All right? Now, which ones are common, Isaac? Which the are the ones that when are I say common, the I mean most of the same. same. Yeah. So we have a 1 in both of them, a 2 in both of them, a 3 in both of them. Do I have a 5 in both of them? Nope. A 6 in both of them? Yes. A 10? No. A 15? No. And a 30 in both of them? No. So, what is our greatest number that are the same? 6. 6 is. Okay, 6 was our greatest common factor. So, we, we would say 6 is the greatest common factor. GCF equals 6. Alright, now let's talk about divisibility. And all divisibility means is that um, basically a whole number being to go, being able to go into a number without having a remainder. For example, five will go into 15 three times and we don't have any remainder, mm -hmm. okay? Um, if I said five will go into 16, does that one work? Is that divisible? Remainder one. No, because we would have a remainder because five will go into 16 three times and we would have one left over, which would be one remainder. Or one so fifth. So this is not divisible, okay? Where this was divisible by five because we have an even three, okay? So that's what divisibility is. All right, I'm gonna write some rules up here. This is what this is called. And it's very helpful when you're working with big numbers, okay? So I want you to write this down. A number, we'll put the number sign, is divisible, write this chart out, Isaac, or just, you can just watch because you'll have it in your book. Okay? A number is divisible by... A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even. Okay? Pretty simple, right? A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits... Last two digits can be divided by four. Okay, and we'll practice these. Okay, it is divisible by eight if the last three digits can be divided by eight. Eight, it's divisible by eight if the last three digits can be divided by eight. Now remember, this is for working with big numbers. Okay? It's divisible by five if the last digit is a zero or a five. Okay? It's divisible by ten if the last digit is zero. Okay, we got three more numbers. A number is divisible by three if the sum of all the digits can be divided by three. A number is divisible by six if the number can be divided by two and Three. And the last one is nine. 
And a number is divisible by nine if the sum, which means if you add them up, the sum of the digits can be divided by nine. Okay, so I've got something I want you to try. I'm going to give a number, and we're going to practice all these rules because I want to leave the rules up there. Okay, I'm going to write this number, 900. I'm going to ask you this question. Which whole numbers from 1 to 10 are div divisors of 9,060? Okay, so let's try it together. This number, 9,060, is it divisible by 2 if the last digit is even? Yes. Yes. Okay? 0 is even, therefore that means that 2 would go into 9,060 evenly without having any remainders. So it is divisible. Okay? Do you understand how that works? All right. Let's try 4. Is 9,060 divisible by 4? Well, let's see. The last two digits can be divided by 4. The last two digits are 60, so will 4 go into 60 evenly without any remainders? Let's try. Yes. Yes, 4 times 15 was 20. So will 4 is going to be able to go into 9060 because of this rule. See how that works? So when you're working with big numbers, it's good to have these rules. Okay, let's look at the next one. A number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits can be divided by 8. Well, 1, 2, 3, so it's, this number is still 60. Will 8 go into 60 evenly? Yes. Okay, 8 times what? 8 times... Eight, 8 times 7 is 56. Then no. So now, and 8 times 8 is 64. So we did this one, we'd have a remainder of 4. So 8 will not go into 60. So is 9,060 going to be divisible by 8? No. No, good job. All right, let's look at 5. 9,060 is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 0 or 5. Last digit, 0. That's it. Mm -hmm. So does 5, will 5 go into this number? Yes. Yes. Because 5 will go into this last digit, okay? The last digit is 0, so 5 will, be, will work. What about 10? 10? Yes. It will be divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. Well, there you go. All right. 960. Is it divisible by 3? Well, the sum of the digits divided by 3, okay? So 9 plus 0 plus 6 plus 0 equals... 15. Now, the sum of the digits divided by 3. 15 yes. divided by 3 equals Ten. 5. So it works. So 3 will be a divisor of that. Good job. All right, see how it works, Isaac, each time? Mm -hmm. All right, let's try 6. 6 is divisible by 6 if it can be divided by 2 and 3. Well, we know that it can be divided by 3. Okay? Um, oh, let's go up here. Can it be divided by 2? Yes. If the last digit is even. So that one worked. Good job. Check. And it can be divided by 3. We just figured that out. Mm -hmm. Check. So 6, it can, it'll be divided by 6 because both 2 and 3 worked. Mm -hmm. Got it? Understand? Mm -hmm. All right. And then 9. The sum of the digits can be divided by 9. What was the sum of the digits again? 15. 9 plus 0 plus 6, 15. Okay. So 15 divided by 9, does that work? No. Nope. So 9 will not go into 9,060. Understand? Mm -hmm. And those are the rules for divisibility.